Hit the play button. Cool out. It's time for the knowledgeable nobody show. Peace. What's good, y'all? I'm back, trying to keep things consistent. So in an effort to do that, um, taking a couple steps back and um, corrected a couple minor things. I noticed that last episode wasn't exactly the best in terms of audio and video quality. And um, yeah, this is the utmost humble beginnings of the podcast. So for those who are been or who have been supportive you know more power to you man i really appreciate you guys for tuning in the people who asked for the next episodes you know much respect and i appreciate y'all time love y'all for that um but um as i was gonna get into uh with my guest here i managed to get ito and uh the the whole talk the whole conversation was <laughs> typical chat you know what i'm saying all over the place, you know what I'm saying? But it, it, it's not to save face or, or anything at all. It's just, you know what I'm saying, it was very off the cuff, like real, you know, last minute, spontane- the most spontaneous, you know what I'm saying, of conversations. And, it, you know, all, it, it's crazy because the dude is so freaking busy that I, I don't know how I managed to pull it off. Um, I'm just grateful. You know what I'm saying? Much love to Ito. Um, Flea Lord, the whole Lord Mob. You know, um, I'm just really appreciative, man, to anybody, you know what I'm saying? Especially if, it, it, first of all, with respect to anybody's time, I'm just appreciative for anybody who wants to come on the show. And even more so to share their platform with, you know what I'm saying, just a fledgling podcaster who's just starting out. You know, it means a lot. And um, I'm not looking for any cosigns or whatever. I'm not looking for, you know what I'm saying, like I say in what I'm about to say in the interview, I don't look for, I'm not looking for notoriety or whatever. I'm just looking to break out of my shell. <laughs> you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to be uh, um, just kind of locked in my quarters. I, I think it's time to expand a bit. And I think I kind of took the whole introvert lifestyle a bit too far. <laughs> That's just personally speaking. Um, so yeah, I guess, uh, in an effort to make things a little bit more clear, um, more, more enjoyable, um, I'm not only going to start to make a little bit more of an effort to, uh, get more people on the podcast, but, um, I'm just hoping that, you know, the audio, audio experience is, uh, the video experience is uh, up to par this time around, um, Again, it's not it's not me being a perfectionist. It's more because I have a mutual respect for the time of the audience watching, you know. And if anything, I know how something's supposed to look. So if it's a podcast or something, it's not because I'm going by the highest standard or Joe Rogan's podcast or I don't sound like Joe Rogan or whatever, you know. It's just like, how can I, you know, it's a it's a it's an interaction. You know, um, a transaction rather, you know, saying I give you this and you give me your time. Right. But last episode was a little bit, eesh. you know, I apologize for that. But, you know, it's not to save face or or say I didn't enjoy myself or enjoy the, the company of the wife. Um, you know, maybe we'll give it another round. <laughs> I just feel bad because the wife had um kind of bursted uh cracked through her shell and um made that leap to get up on here and even though she didn't feel comfortable on camera that's the whole reason why she's not on camera and uh you only heard her um but yeah even then it's like the audio was just so shot and i'm over here with the editing software trying to salvage it and i'm like oh man should i even excuse me should i even bother uploading this should i should I even like, or when after I uploaded it, 
you know, I'm looking at the 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 delete button. I'm like, I want to take this down, but I'm like, you know what? Um, there's not a flaw. There's not a king in the armor. You know, it's just um, another little brick. You know, saying another little step in the right direction, and I'm everything better. You know, saying it with due practice. Um, while I do have a habit of getting a little hard on myself, <laughs> yeah, I talk shit to myself. You know. Um, for the better or worse, you know, saying it gets things done. So, um, again, um, much, much, much appreciation, man. Much appreciation to every one of you. Um, much appreciation, major salute, major shout out to Ethel. Um, got a ton of things in store. Again, this was off the cuff. Uh, no rehearsal, no preparation. This is just, you know, saying whatever knowledge I could pull off from the be- from the back of my head, from our last meeting, and from the music that I last. Yeah, I met the guy back in 2018, and it was, you know, he had came to town and he did a show over here, and you know, it was great, man. But um, I'm not exactly the, the 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 type of person to, you know, saying maintain contact with certain people, and especially if they're busy too. You know, um, doing their own thing. I, I know I like to be left alone. Shoot. Um, but without further ado, um, this is not to save face. <laughs> this is not to, you know, um, take away from the interview at all. There's no, there's no disclaimers. There's no, you know, um, there's no setup. Um, really. Um, even though this is very much <laughs> a setup, <laughs> a disclaimer. You know what? Let me just cut it short. And without further ado, this is the interview slash podcast slash casual conversation <laughs> slash what I do. Enjoy. You said the weather looking good? Yeah, man. What's been, no. what's been cold since? Here. They're having some good days, you know, in, in and out on and off. But June is coming. You know, that's when our summer land. We get the seasonal treatment out here. Yo, I forget exactly how far up north y'all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. You know. We get sports. Up, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Hell's roof. Man, I love it here. You know? Yeah, I appreciate you coming out, though, Bree. No question, man. Thank you for having me. Nah, not at all, B. Major, major salute. It's like I'm telling you, yeah, anybody at this level, especially you, man, you're helping me more than that. I'm helping you, you know what I'm saying? So oh, love, man. It's my duty, you heard? Yo. A lot of a lot of people don't consider it like that, man. You know what I'm saying? You gain a platform, man. It's all good and respected or whatever, but it's like, and I get it, I, I understand too. There's a lot of people that are like choosy and iffy about how they how they share their platform. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, I'm really not out to devastate or wreck anybody's career. You know what I'm saying? Starting my thing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I really... Nah, it's all love, man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, man. yeah. You know, making... That's how we keep the platforms alive. When, when, you know, we deal with every other platform. Absolutely. So how's everything, man? Yo, it's been, it's been a hella, hella, hella ride, man. I can't... <laughs> For, yeah, for, like for you know, but we 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 Spartans. Yo, <laughs> I, I I absolutely get it, but it's like yo, you know, what I'm saying I, I especially back then, yo, you want to like use the analogy of like a Spartan, my G, yo, like it's like Spartans never had like a Gatorade or a rest break or something, you know, what I'm saying I need like a little breather, B, because last year, and I'm sure the same could be said you know, for anybody. It ain't it ain't for the weak of hearts, man. No, not at all. Yo, and it's like that that's that's the you know the new standard is man, you know what I'm saying? You gotta be really, you know, toughen up on on, on a lot of areas, you know what I'm saying? And like Definitely. I told you, I would told Definitely. you, man, it, it brought out a lot of ugly, absolute oh. ugly sides, you know what I'm saying, and oh. me too, you know what I'm saying? Oh. And oh. for what it's worth, it, it brought out a lot of that's good, easy. you know. Yeah, it brought out a lot of good and you know, saying for what it's worth or whatever, man. You know, saying with the losses and all. Mm-hmm. You know, saying we still here. You know, saying we got to make no most question. of our time. We know this, man. But it's like, 
Yo, it's been kidney shots, B. <laughs> it's been kidney yeah, shots, yeah. man. I told you we suffered a loss and is is you know what I'm saying my 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 uncle, you know what I'm saying, he was the one that passed away. Um uh, and um it's just that was a body blow. Um on top of all else, man, it was just a whole, you know what I'm saying, crazy revealing. I like to say for lack of a better word, man, revealing of a year, bro. I learned about myself. What's going on, man? Um, Black <laughs> Jesus walked in. My bro, Black Jesus walked in. Right. Doing the doing Salute. Peace, peace. Peace, peace. peace, peace. peace. <laughs> yeah, but you know, uh, one step at a time, man. Full speed ahead. Indeed. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. How's y'all? Uh, how's living up there, man? Besides the weather. Off work, man. I don't go outside. I ain't outside. Yeah. Yo. It's- <laughs> it's fucking crazy. I'm like, yo, this dude Etho, man. You a hard one, to, <laughs> you, you know, hard with a grasp, man. I'm like, yo, I'm not trying to be that dude and pull out your shirt, man. <laughs> but I'm like, yo, let me just give him his space. Like I said, it's my duty, man. I got, you know, I meet the poses, man. Oh no, I wasn't even going on that. I'm like, damn, what his schedule looked like, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking, I see like random posts sometimes. You got two, three in the morning or something. <laughs> I'm like, yo, this dude. Be posting up beats or whatever, and I, you know, I get it. I'm like, but yeah, damn, what yeah. the work ethic like, man? You know, what I'm saying what the work yeah, ethic yeah. like, and I get it, look, like, cause from a creator to another, be I'm just like random hours, like my sleep was all kinds of fucked up last year. I'm still trying to get a grasp on it, whatever, man. But I try to make use of it and get creative with it, whatever. You know, say whatever mm-hmm. comes. But it's shit, yeah, what? <laughs> I gotta ask, what, what, what's your work ethic like, man? Non-stop. Right. A little sleep here and there. Family. Work, family, food, eat, sleep, shit. That, you know. <laughs> I got a routine that, that's infamous. Mm. And you I know? see you uh you see I see you um with you know saying like partnered up with Flea Lord, this whole crazy mm-hmm. thing. I seen a I see it came in the form of a post like couple months ago and um it was just you with the flea lo- uh the flea um the lord mob i'm sorry logo and i'm like yo you know what I'm saying it's like a, that was like a shift you know what i'm saying and obviously reading on in the post and people's comments you went on to confirm it and stuff so i'm like yo you know saying more power be like shit is freaking crazy man because yeah, i'm like flea is family man that's family that's it's not just an affiliation or- Family, family business, man. You Indeed. know. Mm-hmm. Indeed. Yo, but it's just crazy though. I'm happy for you. Cause see, like you know, saying that with the whole new crack era or whatever. And I <laughs> I remember on another post, man, that you mentioned previously that you had issues with the the whole new era company about yeah. you know saying we got we call the cease and desist uh put a cramp in our LLC trademark run. Um, we managed to get the trademark, and then when it was time to, you know, really certify it, it they didn't fall through. They hit us with another cease and desist, you know, but it is what it is, you know. I, I guess it's a good thing because we don't want to paint that. We don't want to bring back the crack era, I guess, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And if it's one thing that's that's hilarious that you say that, man, because I remember coming back, um shoot man i haven't seen or spoken to you since like 2018 you know what i'm saying so i was like explaining to my old lady back then you know saying you know the what i get from the name i'm like they're the new crack era because that shit was powerful back in the 80s and la da 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 that's how he's trying to bring that you know seeing that movement that's how hard it's gonna hit it's just like yeah, yeah but yeah, you know say for like yeah and i'm like yo and I remember um trying to design a couple of things for you or whatever. And um um I'm like, uh, is this something that is, you know, saying how do for for lack of a better word, that's um is this something that could be made marketable? You know what I'm saying? Because it's yo, especially nowadays too, there's so many, you know, saying topics and things of you know saying um names or even like slang words that are put onto shirts or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And it's like, is that something that could be marketed? You know what I'm saying? So anyways, 
that that's that's not I'm not trying to say that it's for you know saying a wrong turn this or that I'm like for no, 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 not, not at all that, that, no that, that, I'm that, trying to say if anything people, you know say one door all the time. you know and, and in all actuality it's not marketing you know for a certain lifestyle it is mm. but it's not for everybody you understand so mm. things happen for a reason you understand like I roll with the punches you know? That's absolutely the point I was trying to get across to. Everything happens for a reason, you know? Mm -hmm. And I felt like, damn, you know, so I'm not even like close in your circle like that, man, but I felt like, damn, that's exactly what that is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a great thing, you know? Yeah. I, I know I know how the man works, and I don't question it. Y'all just move forward. Absolutely, absolutely. It was just um, one of those things that I interpreted as like, damn, that's a good, that's a good move right there. You know, saying sometimes we just gotta step back and be like, you know, saying maybe this is not gonna work out the way I planned it. You know, saying to check ourselves a little bit, ain't no wrong in that. But you know, amongst the men, it's still gonna be. In the, in the business, fam. We having connection issues. It's all good. I was gonna say, can you repeat that? No, I was saying like, you know, amongst the men, the peers, the lifestyle is always gonna exist, but in the business, some things just don't, don't pan out, I guess, you know? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's not about rolling with the punches, man. It's, it's just about like keeping ourselves in check. Like, you know, saying, mm -hmm. see what, what work and what doesn't, you know what I'm saying? And you got knowledge too, man, how the man works too. You don't question it, like how you said, shoot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, yo, it's crazy though, man, because I didn't um exactly become too familiar with your work until like, you know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a late bloomer to a lot, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm that one, I'm an art guy, bro. <laughs> so it's like- I'm glad you caught on, I'm, you know, I'm glad you checked in. Yeah, yeah. It would happen to be uh to be through through Ron, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and um yeah, yeah. and he put me on to a to a lot of stuff, man. That was That's like the main guy. yeah. <laughs> that dude right there, yo, he, that dude's a good man, bro. But damn, yo, that night, <laughs> that night when I met you back in 2018, bro, it was like the fiascos, man. It was one of them nights, man. And like motherfuckers, well, I go, man. It, it, yeah, that's a good. I mean, all that means is it was a grand old time. Yeah, <laughs> it was a great night. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers to that. And um, it was crazy though, man, because I was like, damn, I, don't, I get, I got, I got a habit, man, of like getting open around, like, yo, if I'm, if I'm around the right people, you know, what I'm saying I'm not a, a drinker like that. I get social, you know, what I'm saying. I start opening up a little bit more, so I start drinking. And I'm like, damn, I don't want my, I'm gonna sound too fucked up, man. I want to be able to talk and kick it with ethos, <laughs> <laughs> like you know, what I'm saying. So we go. The night goes on. I'm like, yo, and Ron is over here hyping the beats up, man. I'm like, yo, why is he doing this, man? Why is he doing this? <laughs> yo, why is he hyping the beats up? Some beats that I had wanted to show you. It was just like blah, blah, blah. You know, saying like little background music and you know, saying well, motherfuckers was smoking or something, whatever. But it you wasn't know, intended. So crazy. That's, that's the first show I ever did outside of home. Well, actually, my second. The first one was in Atlanta with uh, Rest in Peace, Nipsey Hussle, and Freeway. Rest in Peace. So uh, that was my second round outside of home, Orlando, where I met <laughs> you guys. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. crazy because I, I remember, you know what I'm saying? I remember, I, I'm not trying to like, but damn, I remember hearing something about like, yeah, I I, I could have swore that I, I didn't hear it from you directly. You know what I'm saying? But there's something that Ron had told me that I'm like, damn, he sounded like he was going to hang this shit up. You know what I'm saying? You, you know, speaking about you, I'm like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Not that he like reached out and saved y'all or whatever, but it's like, you know what I'm saying? Help provide us some wins to the sales and you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, yo, I I, I remember hearing about, um, Son, about that, that that you had wanted to initially hang it up before taking that call to come out nah, here. Nah, nah, never, never. Yeah. Never. That's nah. totally false. Nah. 
I mean, I hope I'm not freaking this, trying this, to. This is what I do, man. This is how I feed my family the lights on, you know? Yeah, so yeah. It's no longer, it's no longer, uh, it's no longer a gathering. It's, it's business. It's my job. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And, and I love doing it anyway. I, I, want, I, I don't need to get paid off this shit. I'm going to do it regardless. Like, I'm a musician. I'm an artist. I'm, How you been, I make beats. You, okay? you know what I'm saying? Like, it's my hustle. It's, it's either this or that. That's so, absolutely. you know, it's times, it's times, you know, no matter what you do, any situation, it's times you're going to want to knock a child and hang it up. But sometimes you got to, you know, sit down for a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back and forth. Yeah. It's not not at all to try to like try to start some controversy, you know what I'm saying? But I I get those moments, you know, so if anything as a creative man, like I really just want to be me. I don't want to be the art guy anymore. I don't want to, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> You're the art guy. You're the art guy, you know? You got to attend to that. They're, they're going to request your hand. They're going to request your direction. So yeah. You, you, you know? Yeah. You are the art guy. Yeah, I was telling uh one of my other friends, man. It's like, it's it's weird, man, because I'm not trying to be like this fucking emo cat, man. I'm just I work to a certain level, and I'm like, damn, I feel like I don't deserve it. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't wish to garnish attention, like even with this over here. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm an introvert, <laughs> motherfucker as as it is. What I'm trying to do is just break out of that. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, I'm not associated with yeah, people. Don't don't. That's the best way. You know what I'm saying? That's how you maintain your business the right way. Right. So yeah. I'm like, damn, if anything, I wanna I wanna provide a, you know what I'm saying, a little context, a little something though, you know, it's a little something extra than what I do. You know what I'm saying? And it's not just for the sake of like gaining any notoriety or whatever, but it's like I really got this problem that I kind of feel like I locked myself in, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I need to get out of this whole introvert lifestyle, or whatever. I enjoy my own company, you know what I'm saying, but I need to like get out there a little bit more whatever but in due time but besides that man Let it come. Went, yeah man besides that yo did you want to speak on uh your new home uh studios done finally uh wrapping up a bunch of projects that's i seen you know black g's just walked in we we wrapped up his joint we got Jay Black join, Sean Brown, um, you know, me and Flea working, Lord Marbelise is coming, a uh, bunch of stuff, man. I plan on putting out another beat tape, you oh, know. Yeah. Uh, you know, we taking it upon ourselves this round, you know. We canceling out the third parties and the second string players, man. We bringing it to first base, you heard? Right, right. Bringing their home, baby. For real. Admirable. That's the plan right now. Admirable. And that dude... We can't be in the middle no more. We, we always been on the front line, you know? It's time. Yeah. It took a long time, but it's perfect timing. <laughs> Absolutely. That sits well. Yeah. All in our own time. Because, man... What else are we gonna work towards, B? You know what I'm saying? And putting that added pressure on ourselves, man, to, to put our product, man, we could do without that. You know what I'm saying? It's more like where we're at up in here. You know what I'm saying? Okay. If we ain't got it straight. Yeah, oh, if we ain't got, no, no, of course, bro. Yeah, but you know, it's just, you know, just full speed ahead, man. Keep your foot on their necks, keep them on their ballerinas. <laughs> Keep them on their tippy toes, man. You know. Right on. Stay busy. Absolutely. That's All been the name. Of, that Keep was the name of the. <laughs> shoot, that was the name of the freaking um. My priority last year was just keeping myself busy, but yo, yeah, that's, that's, that dude's. <laughs> what is it? Last year, that dude fleet. Oh, appreciate that. Appreciate yeah, that. Sure. I don't know if I ever got to show you uh, like my, my drawings and stuff. I've been doing that since I've been drawing, doing the art thing since I was like five B. 
you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I fucked just... the Photoshop chip, man. I, 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 you know, I designed a lot of shit, T-shirts. And they don't know that. They do in town, but people don't know. I'm not having on the merch these days, but it's coming. Once, once, my, once my partner land, we'll get back. Shout out to Stuffy. Tony the Hustler. <laughs> Shout out. We'll be home soon. That's that old soul shit. You know, this was our this our brand right here. We was going merch ten years ago. Now right. Like, Never got the story behind that. Yeah. That was just something that, that y'all started. Oh, so Excuse definitely. Me. Damn. As you can see, it's spelled. You know, wise is the old owl. So as you can see, it's it's spelled S. You know. Old soul with the L, O W L D, and then you know beginning and end. Like, why just the O L, and then we ended with the L, the soul. S O W L, O W L. So you know, old soul. That's how that came about. I understand. Yeah, we got we got merch. You know, been had merch and shit, man. It's just I just don't move without my folks. Understood. Understood. What um what I was gonna ask you, um this dude, um what was it last year that Fleet put out a project a project almost like every month? <clears throat> yeah, for the whole year. Yeah. Yeah, that should be in the Guinness book. Yo, what for real. Yeah, for real. If I could comment on that, that's like yo, you never heard of nothing like that. Never, it's unheard of. DMX dropped two in a year, and that was that was big. So, imagine dropping one every month for the that's, whole year. You know what I'm saying? That's unprecedented, yeah. right there. That's major. I'm gonna be honest. Like I couldn't even, I couldn't even balance that. You know what I'm saying? All I do, man, is the machine. Yeah. And you can see him sometimes on the live videos. My man just be up, man, working, bro, and. Power. That's what you know it's what about. Shoot. Only the strong survive. If you're sleeping, you ain't gonna get shit done. You know, my problem is I go to sleep when motherfuckers get up. <laughs> yeah. That's what I was saying. Like going back, yeah. man. I'm like, damn, when am I yeah. supposed to connect with Ethan, man? <laughs> yeah, about the art or problem. whatever. <laughs> I'm up all, you know, till 6, 7 a.m., you know. Yo, for real. Yeah, Duly noted. Man. You know, oh, a word. <laughs> I'm writing that down. Yeah. yeah, sleep. Sleep is uh, that's that's on the end of the list. Understood. But sleep is very important when I sleep well. Yes. Yes. And that's like it's hard for me nowadays too. B. <laughs> like I don't know if it's because I'm just I'm just getting older, man. I just need something. To, Get more active, something to get me uh, tired or something, bro. But yeah, it's a blessing, man. Continue to do what you're doing. You just keep up with your podcast, you know. Like, well, I'm the second, uh, my the second uh, guy on the show. Um, yeah, actually, you're my you second guest. Yeah, I, I, I watched one or two, right? So I'm like the third guy. So you just gotta stay active, man. That's all. Yeah, and uh, that's not exactly one of my strengths, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, but my, my problem is that I'm not a perfectionist. You know what I'm saying? I, I like to provide a good product. You know what I'm saying? Nah, that's... organic is better. No, absolutely. Organic. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I tell everybody. I'm like, yo, this is the, the backyard bodega, the back alley of podcasts. You know what I'm saying? Power to y'all. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To support me. You know what I'm saying? My, my, my journey and all that. But this is like the I got utmost you back. Look, I'm, humble. I'm doing this for you. Look, see? I mean, motherfuckers, you know, we're going to support your podcast. And your shit ain't even up and running yet. See, this is why I'm here for you. You know, I'm supporting your podcast. So you got to make it a point to support your podcast. Keep your shit alive, you know. Keep the ball bouncing. You know, stay in the game. Absolutely. Thank you for that. But like again, I it's like, I like to... Like that, you can end, now you interview Black G's next. You know what I'm saying? Talk about our album, you know, shit like that. We're going to get the ball bouncing. We're going to help you. We're going to, you know. And then years later, they're going to look back at this and say, yo, 
he thought was the first nigga, Black G's, you know, we we, we, we gave this, you know, niggas won't even pay him no mind because he only had two followers or whatever. Now we make sure we gonna attend to your shit and, you know, get it jumping. Man. You know what I'm saying? I really appreciate that, man. And like right. I said, it ain't no favor for no, you know, no favor for no favor, or whatever. Everything nah, organic, yeah, the way it's supposed yeah, to be. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah, I appreciate that. But like I yeah, said, like I'm like you. I'm trying to provide a product, man. It's like with my art, you yeah, know what I'm saying? I got a thing with these corporate motherfuckers. Like, I don't want to. I'd rather, you know, I'd rather attend it to your show, your podcast. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Yo, I'll be rich. I'll, I'll be a millionaire and still have this same mentality. Respect, man. Because y'all the only ones who gave us a shot. You know these niggas. You know, you know how I go. We don't forget none of that. Hmm. Respect, okay. respect. You know, what I'm saying all you can do is just admire that. But you know, what I'm saying. What I'm not trying to, you know, like shoot it down or whatever. You know, what I'm saying I appreciate the confidence, but I'm like, damn, I would like to provide something that, you know, what I'm saying that's respect to the audience. You know, what I'm saying yeah, something that's man, worth their time. Know. You know, what I'm saying gotta I gotta attend to the audience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Practice, bro. You know I mean? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You're gonna be all right. Yeah, everything we do in due time. You know, what I'm saying <laughs> certainly, you know, what I'm saying even more with practice. You know, what I'm saying I'm like that. I get concerned about the the camera thing. I'm like, damn, I know, I know you see me fuzzy, but I combine it with a camera from an external camera and that's I work my magic on the editing software. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you your warm-up suit, man. <laughs> you your warm-up suit. Yeah. I mean, I know, I know the I know I know how to carry myself in a conversation, man, but it's about that worry that that's like, yo, am I am I doing something right? You know what I'm saying? And I get caught up in that, man. But nonetheless, oh, man. Sure. So oh, good. Yeah. I'm here, man. New music coming soon. He throw music online. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, shout out to you. You know, my Lord Mob, you know, Flea Lord, you know. Um Me Fox. You know what I mean? <laughs> Cold Summers, don't get shot, trust game. That's what we doing over here. And um, uh, that's pretty much it, man. You know, anytime you need me, reach out. I'm here. I'm saying, and that's Definitely. boomerang. Most deaf, most deaf. Yeah, my man. Yeah, I appreciate you though. You already know. I'm here anytime. Reach out. Yo. And let's <laughs> line up. Let's line up the next uh episode with Black G because we releasing soon our last final chapter of the street. You know, Flower City Street Bible. We got three parts to that. Um, I'm sure you're familiar with that. Him and Flea, the last video uh, was with Flea. No, no. Uh, yeah, but the, it, it's all, both versions are out now. This is the last final chapter, you know, Flower City Street Bible, Revelations, you know, no blasphemy shit. And uh, produced all by me. Got some great, you know, special on there. We got, you know, class, Shay Nord, the you know, family. So look forward to that. And let's line that up next. Right, absolutely. Shoot, if anything, I was gonna tell them, yo, if there's anything you wanna like line up, anything else you got in the works or whatever, but you already nailed it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, long way home. You know, that's all I, I'll speak on that, but expect that, you know, like I said, coming a whole lot of stuff who the prince you know what i'm saying new crack era out west dj beans yo word shout out to beans what we doing mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah i'm done to see y'all on the road time, yeah no doubt you got your back yeah i appreciate you man you already like giving me a heads up for next time yo let me know you know what i'm saying i know you be busy yeah, man yeah. Like I told you, I'm not trying to be that dude. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Everybody got their lives attention. You got to be. You have to be. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Yeah, but I'm not trying to, like, impose neither, man. I just try to respect, man. Make way for people. You know what I'm saying? Try to make it as comfy as I can be. But, um, yo, my mans, if anything, bro, you want to, like, give it another round, just let me know. 
I'll be it'd be a super pleasure, you know, saying to have you up on board again. Got you. Yeah. Yeah. Saying as it is, Got bro, you. this is like this is that red record. This is my Dr. Dre detox right here, man. I can rest easy now. I got yeah, this. Yeah, it's just gonna get it going. Sometimes, <laughs> you know, sometimes motherfuckers can't leave the lot without the cosine. So, you know, you gotta start somewhere, man. It, it gets better, man. Absolutely. Pat Thank yourself you. on the back. It gets better. <laughs> Thank you. Thank Peace. You, I'll talk to you soon, you heard? Peace, bro. Thank you, Thank you for All your right, time. Bro. You know it, man. Go Be on, safe, man. man. One. There it is. Yeah, it was a quick one, man. But um, I tell you what, bro, I appreciate any time that um uh, Ethel could dish out, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the dude's busy. You know, he he's a he's a workaholic. You know what I'm saying? He does what he does, and he's a family man. You can't hate on that. <laughs> so anytime, anytime, man, a person gives you their time is greatly appreciated. Um. We all know it's like, you know, saying the, the most valuable currency is our time, man. So, again, man, it's not ever taken uh, for granted, you know. I appreciate um, everyone tuning in, you know. I appreciate Ito especially, man. It's like he doesn't have to share his platform, you know, saying with somebody else who's starting out their podcast because whatever introvert issues, you know. So it's tremendously greatly appreciated, man. Um, a person just wasted a lot of time in their life, you know what I'm saying, looking for that opportune moment. And I didn't want to do that, you know what I'm saying? That's why I just grabbed that the opportunity to just get on board with the whole podcast with Ethel thing, man. And yeah, it was unrehearsed. Yeah, it has my signature spastic style all over it. it yeah, there's a lot of babbling. You know what, man? I got to start somewhere. And, yeah, I got my foot in the door. Um, it, it's not look, I'm not looking to, to, to gain any notoriety or whatever or this or this or that. This is not about the fame. This is just a more of a, a journey, you know, doing something different. Um, I just get a lot of people giving me a lot of positive feedback. Um, looking for that next episode and... Again, I want to provide, you know, quality, something quality content, you know, something, not, something that's not going to hurt your eyes or ears, you know. Um, so in doing that, um, I kind of taken the back, the back burner a little bit. And, yeah, there's a lot of time that, that just gets wasted, you know. And here I am, you know, <laughs> 41 years into this life that, um... I don't think I want to waste any more time, man. You know? Yeah. There's there's a kind of there's gonna be a lot of people looking at this, yo, oh my god, we got another we got another bald guy doing a podcast. You know. It's all good, man. But um this remedy, you know what I'm saying? This is this is like a therapy, you know. Um can't be waiting for any any opportune moments anymore, man. We gotta, you know, and it's so cliche, and we hear it all the time, man. But time waits for no one. We gotta create our own opportunities, man. And while I'm not trying to be that dude and bother people to be on the show, man, <laughs> I have people that actually want me to be persistent and let them know, hey, you know, say I'm still waiting for you. So if I if I come ever come into your DMs <laughs> asking you, hey. More than once, yo, can you come up on here? Yo, this is just a reminder. Yo, I, I mean the best out of, you know what I'm saying? I mean, well, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, yo, um, there, there's, there's nothing like having a conversation, man. And that's um, that's something that I need to get back into. Um, there's there's more to expand on. There's just so many things to touch on that um I don't feel like I can just limit my podcast or our podcast, you know, saying cuz the initial idea was for me to, and the lady to co-host with me and stuff, but um she could jump in and out as, as as ever whatever whenever she pleases, man, you know, at her own comfort, at her own leisure. But um man um, yeah, just just trying to keep it an effort, uh, 
all in the effort to keep things moving. And um, I appreciate you guys deeply, man. I uh, appreciate you guys for tuning in. Um, I'll be trying to do this every uh, every every so at least at least two or three times a week, you know. Um, could I use some help? Yeah, you know. But as far as what I'm doing and how I'm doing it, it's just me and my little hardware, what I got, you know. Um, but yeah, um, I really appreciate you guys for tuning in. That's enough uh, babbling for me for one episode. Um, until the next time, man, uh, you guys just take care. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, much love and respect. Um, shout out to the whole Lord mob. Um, Ethel, appreciate you. Um, keep on working. Uh, I know I am, you know, and um, take care. Till the next time.